all right guys welcome back for another dokkan battle video and today what we're going to be doing is talking about who should you get with your red dragonstone now it has been a while since we first got our red dragonstone again it was actually during the first day of the anniversary for the login bonus you logged in it gave you five copies of the free to play ui goku a red dragonstone and then gave us 66 dragonstones so anyways this is the red dragonstone i am talking about for those of you who maybe don't know this is the red dragonstone right here so with this red dragonstone you're gonna be able to go ahead and pick some of uh these characters or like one of these characters from you know the list that they have here of your choosing now what i wanted to go ahead and talk about in this video is who should you get with the red stone who is the best option who are some very noticeable characters that are going to benefit you the most and if it is worth it depending on your account to even get a character or instead just spend it you know like on some elder kai so anyways since i don't want to keep scrolling up and down on <laughs> the red dragon stone um i'm gonna go ahead and find the list over here pretty sure the list should be here oh there we go so this is the red dragon stone list just so that i'm not scrolling up and down because i will not have the patience for that god forbid all right so in this uh, list so far, we have some of the OG EZAs. We have Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the AGL one, Tech Cell, Int, uh, Int Ultimate Gohan, STR Broly, and so on and so forth. So again, some noticeable characters from this are going to be like Gogeta, Janemba, Beerus, Kid Buu, and that's about it. <laughs> again, not the greatest roster of characters. I am a little bit disappointed in the fact that they didn't really give us more options. Because again, like, these guys were on the same, like, Dragonstone thing for last year. So it's not, it, it's not like they really updated it all that much. I mean, they might have, uh, honestly, they might have added, you know, added Topo and Dispo into it. Because last year, uh, Berserk Kale and AGL Califlo were on the actual Dragonstone, you know, banners, what I'm going to call it, itself. But there really hasn't been an update to it, because, again, most of these units are already very, very old. So they're not exactly the greatest. Um, I mean, Ageo Khalifla, Berserk Kale, those are very two strong options for your Dragonstone. Again, Ageo Khalifla, like, has incredible defense. She has dodge. Berserk Kale has really, really good damage. And then she also has, like, damage reduction for, like, the first, like, six or seven turns from the start of battle. Uh, we all know how great God Topo is as, as a support type unit. Dispo, again, he's okay after his EZA. He's just, like, pretty mid. Like, he's not super, like, crazy, but he's not bad either. Uh, so, again, I mean, these bottom four are already, like, very, very strong candidates uh, for someone to pick with the Red Dragonstone. But, um, honestly, looking at the rest of them, Honestly, the bottom four might be the actual, like, ones that I would tell you to go for, depending on how your account is built. Because if you're a new player, this Vegeta is going to be a fairly solid unit for you, because if we go to actually search him up, because we can probably find him. Let's do Vegeta's family, tech, super class. There he is. This Vegeta at the SSR level gives all types HP and attack and defense for 20%. Again, all types, all types leaders are very, very good for you, especially if you're a new player. Because again, you don't have a lot of units, you're not going to have really good leaders. So having that all types leader is going to be super, super beneficial for you. But at the same time that Vegeta has aged, like he's not going to be able to carry you in like hard content in the game anymore. Because again, he has aged. Like he's no longer really good i mean he was before even then he wasn't like the best i mean he he is he is still a crazy support type unit but again as most units in this game power creep comes up and he's no longer that good he's no longer that viable so he is a good idea if you're a free-to-play player but at the same time in the future he is gonna end up becoming pretty much fodder um i mean looking at the other units the freaking family coming high units never get them again they're like already basically free rainbow units because every single year during goku day they always give you like scrolls that you can use to buy them so it's like they're legit like free to play uh, these easy a's right here the uh, vegeta skinny boo super saiyan goku cooler 18 and nova i mean they're good easy a's for sure except for android 18 android 18 just kind of sucks 
but the rest of them are really good. The only issue with them is that they're super specialized. Like each one of these units wants to be run on a specific category team. Nova wants to be run on a Shadow Dragons. Cooler wants to be run with like Wicked Bloodlines or like just extreme class based units, you know, just in general. Skinny Boo wants to be run on Majin Buu Saga. AGL Vegeta wants to be run on probably like Vegeta family category teams because again, of his link set. And then Super Saiyan Goku, of course, is going to be pretty much good everywhere. But you also kind of want to run him in like Super Battle Road like settings because he has like a 70% chance to stun, which is his entire like kit as a whole is like stunning. So, again, they're good units, except they're highly specialized, which is their only downfall. So, they're very specialized units, and again, if you're a new player, they're probably not going to be the best option for you to choose. Now, going up to these guys, again, these are like some of the OG EZAs, like I said. Gogeta, Int, Janemba, Beerus, uh, Kid Buu. So, again, they're all very, very good units still to this day. Uh, of course, some of them could use, like, some help or have really aged at, um, aged at this point. Like the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, this AGL Kid Buu, this AGL Ultimate Gohan. Again, they are, like, solid options still to this day. I mean, Gogeta still hits really, really hard, uh, even though he is, like, the literal first anniversary unit. In Janemba is still a defensive god, even after all these years, with his guaranteed guard, high defense from Lynx. Uh, the fact that he also hits pretty hard as well like i've seen this guy put up like almost four million and again he's the first anniversary unit so like he's really really old like by far one of the oldest units here besides gogeta because again they're literally first anniversary so again a lot of these units here still hold value again uh kid boo is known for his amazing 50 percent attack and defense to all allies so he is a crazy support type unit the only issue being is that again kid boo does get hit rather hard Jesus Christ. Kid Buu does get hit rather hard because of the fact that he has, like, no defense and, like, no attack. So, like, he's just kind of, like, basically a support type unit, and that's basically it. So, if you really badly need a support type unit, Kid Buu is not a bad option. But, again, to really maximize him, you do kind of want to run Kid Buu on, like, a Majin Power team, just so that you can activate his links on Majin Power. And then it's also a good idea to, like, Link level him so that he gets, like, extra attack and defense from Links. So there is a lot of work that goes into some of these units depending on who you choose. Even just, like, looking at this, the ones I can tell you to just stay completely away from are all the ultimate Gohans. Like, get, don't bother about these guys. Just don't even think about them. They're fodder. This AGL Kid Buu fodder. Tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta fodder. Super Saiyan 3 Goku fodder. This Beerus is actually pretty good. Again, the issue is you want to run him on a Worthy Rivals team. Because, again, he is a Worthy Rivals support type unit. So, again, for some of these units, they are highly specialized. So, again, he's decent. Except, again, he wants to be run on Worthy Rivals. Int Cell is still fairly decent. Again, he's not horrible. But he has H, just like most of these units here. Honestly, the best options would probably be Janemba, Gogeta, and then probably um uh, honestly super saiyan 3 vegeta the, the str super saiyan 3 vegeta because again that str super saiyan 3 vegeta does have a crazy amount of damage reduction for like the first nine turns because like 78 percent so he is a really good tank for like super battle road um again he is a, he is a, also another very very good option to run but yeah, most of these units here have aged. Again, the Tech Beerus is not bad. Like, he still hits hard. It's that, again, you really want to run him with, like, Whis, Vados, you know, those types of units. So if you don't have him, again, he's not the greatest idea to pick. But honestly, like, my top picks for this would be Ejo Khalifla, God Topo, Berserk Kale, Int Janemba, STR Super Gogeta. And then it'd be Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, and then it'd be Tech Beerus. And then I'd put Kid Buu in there, just because, again, Kid Buu's a great support type unit. But, again, depending on your box is really going to, you know, determine what you're going to do with it. Like, for example, me, I'm probably, because, again, I have Janemba Rainbow, so, again, I don't need Janemba. Gogeta's Rainbow for me, so I don't need Gogeta. Um, 
Honestly, I might go for like another copy of Berserk Kale just because again, I do want to rainbow her because again, she is very, very good after he, uh, her EZA. But at the same time, you know, God Tobo is almost rainbow for me. So it's like, at this point, it's like, you, you know, you got to choose your poison. Or, or I mean, not your poison because again, they're all very solid units. I can't just go ahead and say, and say like, choose your poison. You know, like these guys are bad. I mean, they're not horrible. They're just like... They're old, man. They're old. Actually, you know what? I think I just might Rainbow Gogeta. Just because, again, I can pull Berserk Kale and, like, God Topo from, like, other banners. I'm actually just going to go for the Rainbow on Gogeta. So, I'm going to go ahead and use my Dragonstone on Gogeta. Again, you don't have to use your Dragonstone on Gogeta. I'm just doing it again for the sake of rainbowing him. That's pretty much the only reason. Um, again, <laughs> you can choose whatever you want to do with your... Uh, with your red dragon zone but my greatest advice to you is just really try to maximize your unit that you're going to be putting it on really try to like get a unit that you know you're going to need that you know is going to be helpful to you um because again i've reached a point in my box where none of those units really help me all that much like god topo i do use i mean i haven't still finished easy ink uh Khalif one preserve kale so it's like to me there's no real point in choosing them if I haven't really even, like, maximized them in terms of, like, their easy AT to even begin with. So that's why I decided to go with, um, um, Esther Gogeta, just because, again, I can completely rainbow him, so he's another rainbow unit down in the books. So, like I said before, that is going to do it for today's video, and I will see you all next time. name of this one is Rosé. Oh, this is the power of legendary Super Saiyan Goku. Now I understand.